Well, former Bishop Police Chief Chris Carter was exonerated on most allegations, and two Bishop City officials were also exonerated after an investigation into the Bishop Police Department that was sparked by a letter of no confidence last year in Chief Carter, signed by seven members of the Bishop Police Department. Now, the City of Bishop and City Attorney Ryan Jones issued a press release last Wednesday afternoon detailing the investigation. That complete press release is posted on our website, sierrawave.net, with a link to it. Now the press release begins on September 16, 2015. The city of Bishop received a letter of no confidence in Bishop Police Chief Chris Carter. The letter was prepared and published to local media outlets by seven individual Bishop police officers and alleged unethical behavior and misconduct against Chief Chris Carter, who at that time had already announced his retirement to take effect September 30th, 2015. Now the letter also alleged unethical behavior and misconduct on the part of Bishop City Councilman Joe Pexy and City Administrator Jim Tatum. Now, in response to the letter, the city contracted with Norman H. Robb Associates to conduct a personnel investigation to determine the facts and circumstances alleged in and surrounding the letter. Norman H. Robb Associates is an organization of former police executives and attorneys engaged in workplace investigations for local government, special districts, and private sector companies. Norman A. Traub assigned investigator Jeffrey L. Johnson to conduct the investigation. Mr. Johnson's work background includes 29 years as a police officer, retiring as a commander at the Long Beach Police Department. He's a graduate of the FBI National Academy and holds both a Master of Public Administrator degree and a Juris Doctor degree. He is an attorney at law admitted to practice before all of the courts in the state of California. Now, that press release continues. Mr. Johnson conducted an extensive investigation, which included interviewing Chief Chris Carter and all members of the Bishop Police Department, Councilman Joe Pexy, City Administ Administrator Jim Tatum, and all other recipient witnesses. In all, he conducted 25 recorded interviews. Additionally, Johnson obtained relevant documents from witnesses and the City of Bishop. He also researched and reviewed all applicable Bishop Police Department and City of Bishop policies. A final report of 623 pages was delivered to Ryan J. Jones, Bishop City Attorney, on February 23rd, 2016. That report analyzed 17 allegations of misconduct and 13 allegations of mismanagement. The final report determined that all of the allegations against Councilman Pexy and City Administrator Jim Tatum were unfounded. Now, unfounded means the investigation conclusively proved that the act or acts complained of did not occur or the members named in the allegation were not involved in the act or acts. The final report also determined that with two exceptions, all allegations against Chief Chris Carter were either unfounded or exonerated. Exonerated means the act or acts which provided the basis for the allegations occurred. However, the investigation revealed they were justified lawful and proper. The allegation that Chief Chris Carter had on two occasions used inappropriate language in dealing with police officers was sustained. Sustained means the investigation disclosed sufficient evidence to prove the allegation. Now the additional allegation that Chief Chris Carter failed to facilitate firearms qualifications to all sworn personnel on a quarterly basis as required by policy was also sustained. With respect to the firearms qualification allegation, the Bishop Police Department is taking steps to ensure policy compliance. It is with the permission of Chief Carter, Jim Tatum, and Joe Pexy that the findings noted above have been disclosed. That press release continues. All other allegations de dealt with in the final report involve police personnel and are, under conf and are confidential under California law. Because the final report addressed so many allegations and in so much commingled detail, it is impossible to release any part of the report itself without violating California law. Therefore, the city is legally prohibited from releasing the final report or from revealing anything surrounding these remaining 
personnel matters to the public. California law does, however, allow review of the final report by the grand jury. As a matter of transparency, the city of Bishop has delivered a full and complete copy of the final report to the Inyo County grand jury. And that press release was signed by Ryan J. Jones, Bishop City Attorney. Well, Deb Murphy updated the local election scene. As of the March 11th deadline for candidate filings, there are only two elections, Inyo County Board of Supervisors District 2 and Mono County District 4 being contested. Candidates for Mammoth Town Council and Mono County's District 3 have until this Wednesday, March 16th, to file since incumbents for both of those races chose not to run for another term. Now here's what the ballot will look like. Inyo County Superior Court Judge Dean Stout, Office of Education Area 2, David Hefner, Area 4, Mary Kemp. Board of Supervisors District 2, Jeff Griffiths, incumbent, and Russ Aldridge. Also, District 4, Mark Tillemans, incumbent, and District 5, Matt Kingsley, incumbent. Now, Mono County Superior Court, Judge Mark Magic. Board of Supervisors, Fred Stump in District 2. District 4, Tim Fesco, incumbent, John Peters, Bob Thames. District 3, Bob Gardner. Now, additional candidates have again until Wednesday to file as incumbent Tim Alpers is not running. Mammoth Lakes Town Council, Jennifer Burroughs and Brent Tuax, uh, Truax, excuse me, incumbent Joe Bacon and Michael Raimondo are not running. And according to Jamie Gray, Mammoth Lakes Town Clerk, Cleland Hoff pulled papers Friday with the intent to file by Wednesday. Well, Deb Murphy also filed a story noting the issue of incomplete mitigation projects has reached critical mass with the Owens Valley Committee and Sierra Club. Now, the two organizations have asked for a dispute resolution meeting of the partners of the 1997 Memorandum of Understanding, setting a March 16th date. Now, the request follows protocol set up by the MOU when any of the parties feels obligations are not being met. Now, the correspondence paints an either-or scenario. Either LADWP failed to, quote, discharge its obligations regarding mitigation plans and implementation schedules set forth in the 1991 Environmental Impact Report and the 1999 Revegetation Plan, end quote, or LADWP failed, quote, to comply with the MOU's requirement that the technical group prepare mitigation plans and implementation schedules within 12 months of the discharge of the writ, end quote. Urge you to see Deb Murphy's full story on our website, sierrawave.net. We'll note the Inyo County LADWP technical group meeting set for Wednesday, 2 p.m. at the Inyo County Water Department in Independence. Well, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife Officers there concluded an extensive deer poaching investigation out of Mono County, resulting in a guilty plea from a Crowley Lake man. Now, wildlife officers received several tips from legitimate hunters in Inyo and Mono counties who reported suspected poaching activities from Gary John Waters, age 56, of Crowley Lake. Now, the press release says that between the tips and the follow-up investigation, wildlife officers suspected waters of poaching very large bucks illegally, including deer taken out of season. Multiple bucks were also allegedly taken by waters within no-shoot residential areas in close proximity to homes in the June Lake and Crowley Lake areas. Now, that press release states that on December 14, 2015, Mono County District Attorney's Office filed nine misdemeanor, char misdemeanor poaching related charges associated with the case, including unlawful taking deer out of season, hunting deer without a valid license, hunter trespass, discharge weapon near a residence, unlawful discharge of a weapon, false information on deer tags, deposit dead animal near waterway, and two counts of unlawful possession of deer taken in violation. Now, in February of this year, Waters entered a plea deal with the Mono County District Attorney's Office for one of misdemeanor count of unlawful take of a deer and one infraction count of an unlawful discharge of a weapon in a county no-shoot zone. On February 22nd, 
Waters arrived at the Mammoth Lakes Police Department where he was booked and released as ordered by the court. Waters also received a $760 fine and or penalty assessment, 400 hours of community service, and cannot hunt in the state for three years. Now that full press release is also on our website, sierrawave.net. We'll be back with more news.